hope you remember phrases and clauses. Let us revise what a clause is. A clause is a group of words that acts as a part of speech, that is, it acts as a noun or an adjective or an adverb and conveys some sense. A clause may or may not stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. It has a subject and a verb. Now let us look at this example. At sunset, he returned home. In this sentence, at sunset is an adverb phrase because it is describing the verb returned. The phrase is working like an adverb of time. But if I write the sentence as, when the sun set, he returned home, I'll convey the same meaning, but in this case, instead of a phrase at sunset, I have used the group of words when the sun set. This group of words has a subject and a verb. And it starts with the subordinating conjunction when. So this is a dependent clause. And this dependent clause is doing the verb of an adverb because this clause, when the sun set, is describing the verb returned in the main clause. He returned home is the main clause. It can stand on its own and make complete sense. So, he returned home is the independent or the main clause. And when the sun set is the dependent clause which is describing the verb returned in the main clause. So, this clause which is acting as an adverb is known as an adverb clause. So what is an adverb clause? An adverb clause does the work of an adverb. It is a group of words which does not convey complete sense and has a subject doing a verb. Because he studied hard, he scored good marks. Now we can write this sentence also as he scored good marks because he studied hard. Now in both these sentences, he scored good marks is a clause which can stand on its own and makes complete sense. So he scored good marks is the main clause or the independent clause and because he studied hard is the subordinate clause or the dependent clause which is working like an adverb. So this clause is an adverb clause. Now this adverb clause is showing reason. Why did he score good marks? Because he studied hard. This is describing the verb scored. So we see that this is an adverb clause. So what do we see? We see that an adverb clause can precede or follow the main clause. In the first example, it precedes the main clause. In the second example, it follows the main clause. There was complete silence in the hall when the Prime Minister spoke. When the Prime Minister spoke is an adverb clause which is showing time. Now adverb clauses showing time are introduced by subordinating conjunctions like when, whenever, while, after, before, since, as, till, until, so long as, as soon as, etc. The dance troupe performed wherever they got invitations from. Here, wherever they got invitations from is an adverb clause because it is describing the verb performed and it is doing the work of an adverb of place. Where did they perform? Wherever they got invitations from. So an adverb clause 
of place are introduced by subordinating conjunctions like where, wherever or whereas. He gave me his number so that I could call him later. Now the group of words so that I could call him later is describing the verb gave. So this is a dependent clause and it is doing the verb of an adverb of purpose. It is answering the question why. So this is an adverb clause. Now adverb clauses of purpose are introduced by subordinating conjunctions like so that, in order that, in case, etc. Now that you have learnt adverb clauses in detail, let us do this exercise. Identify the adverb clauses in the following sentences and then match their kinds. So we will read the sentences first, then we will identify the adverb clauses in it and then we will match their kinds. So let us read the sentences one by one. We started early so that we could reach the place before dark. The ship had just left the dock when it was attacked by the pirates. So let us take the first sentence. We started early so that we could reach the place before dark. Let us identify the dependent clause here first. We started early is an independent clause because it can stand alone as a sentence. So here, so that we could reach the place before dark is the dependent clause here. And this clause is an adverb clause because it is describing the verb started early. Why did we start early? So that we could reach the place before dark. In the second sentence, the ship had just left the dock when it was attacked by the pirates. So the independent clause here is the ship had just left the dock and the dependent clause here is when it was attacked by the pirates. Now this dependent clause when it was attacked by the pirates is an adverb clause because it is describing the verb had left. So now that we have identified the adverb clauses, let us try to match their kinds. In the first case, so that we could reach the place before dark is answering the question, why did we start early? We started early so that we could reach the place before dark. So this is an adverb clause of purpose. In the second sentence, when it was attacked by the pirates is showing us the time. So this clause is an adverb clause of time. So what did we learn today? We learned that adverb clauses are dependent clauses. They contain a subject and a verb because every clause should necessarily contain a subject and a verb. They function as an adverb in the sentence. They are usually introduced by subordinating conjunctions. So we have learned about adverb clauses in great detail today. All you have to do is pick up different sentences and try to identify adverb clauses in them. We shall soon learn more about clauses. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. 
Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.